I just have a cold. For the pains right. and fever of a cold or flu, Bayer works wonders. Internal documents show that after this company positively, absolutely knew that they had a medication that was infected with the AIDS virus, they took the product off the market in the U.S. and then they dumped it in France, Europe, Asia, and Latin America. The medicine's called Factor 8. It was an injected, an injected medicine that was used for hemophiliacs, mostly children. Two Bayer tablets bring all the pain relief power your cold can use. The U.S. government allowed it to happen. The FDA allowed this to happen. And now the government is completely looking the other way. Sure, that extra care and thoughtfulness works wonders, too. But to relieve the aches and fever, Bayer works wonders. They had to figure out a way, Joe, to make a profit on a product that they could not sell in America. So they made a huge profit. They jumped, they dropped the product in Japan, Spain, and France. By the way, Joe, government officials in France that allowed that to happen actually had to go to prison for it. In America, not one corporate executive for this company has been indicted or even criminally investigated. We're going to make sure everybody's safe. We only exist, these lawsuits only exist because the EPA has failed the American public for 45 years, and Monsanto is allowed to get away with, with reckless conduct, with essentially impunity. That, uh, the EPA is not following its guidelines for evaluating the carcinogenicity of chemicals. If a jury says it's a carcinogen, if court cases are finding it's a carcinogen, the EPA, as in protection agency, as in trying to protect people like me and you and our children, how can they bigfoot these court decisions? There's first off, as the Monsanto papers, the documents we've gotten out from under seal show, the EPA has been subject to re regulatory capture. Uh, the relationship between uh, the regulator, the EPA, and the regulated, Monsanto, uh, is too close. And they have interaction that the documents show that the EPA is protecting Monsanto, not protecting the public. So they'll head off studies that are going to corroborate what the International Agency for Research on Cancer is going to show. Uh, they will not follow their guidelines that show that there's elevated tumors in mice that are corollaries to the malignant, the malignant lymphomas in mice that are corollaries to what happens in humans. They ignore the statistically significant elevated rates of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in the epidemiology studies that um, repeatedly show elevated use is, uh, causes an increased risk of carcinogenicity. You have the emails, we have emails that show that they are corresponding with Monsanto to get this stuff done. There's the guy who wrote the car, the CARC report, the carcinogenicity report, sends an email to Monsanto to ask them how should they count the malignant lymphoma uh, tumors that are showing up in mice. How do they... <laughs> That's not their job. Their job is to actually evaluate the science. We have all the way from the beginning, uh, the, original, the original studies were subject to, to fraud. And then they, it's just it, one, one step after another shows the failure of the EPA to protect people, the public, and instead are protecting their regulated uh, partners, so, their, the uh, people they're supposed to be uh, reining in. So the EPA, from your description, seems to be in bed with the people that they are supposed to regulate. And I've also read that there's this revolving door concept that once you get in bed with the people who are supposed to be regulating you, then what is to stop you? We're going to make sure everybody's safe.